Well, except for the cut on her head, Kay appears to be fine. Well, I would like you to come by the hospital tomorrow so I can examine you and the baby more thoroughly. So then you're not convinced that she's all right? No, Grace, it's just a precaution. Oh, I don't know what I'd do without you. Especially with Kay being pregnant and the two of us are at such odds. Oh, I'm sure that won't last forever. No, it's just nice knowing that you're her doctor and she won't talk to me. I, I appreciate your confidence, Grace, but you know, there, there are plenty of other skilled OBGYNs at the hospital to take care of Kay. You know, in case I wasn't available for some reason. <laughs> Not available, uh, Going on some kind of vacation or something? <laughs> no. No, just in case of emergency. Eve, you all right? Yeah. Seem a little shaky. <sighs> I hope it's not because of Kate's story making you out to be David and Heidi's accomplice. It's not a story, Dad. I'm just talking about the part that involved Eve. I'm sorry Ivy tried to involve you in this. You know what? I'm not. Because it proved that Kay's accusations about David can't be true. Because everyone knows that Eve would not have tampered John's test results. Well, couldn't it have been someone else? Like Ivy, maybe? Sam! I can't believe you would accuse me of something so underhanded. I'm still not convinced David was ever married to Grace. Well, I'm sorry, John. You were Grace's son. So you're saying that you don't trust Eve? No, I, I, I do trust Eve. I'm just saying there's got to be some other explanation. Well, uh, it's late. I, I, I better be getting home. Of course. Um, look, give our apologies to TC for keeping you out so late. Right? Don't worry about it. <laughs>